What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo, and today we have a live narrated double battle against Chewy, aka Mike Hobbs, from Twitter. Uh, I kind of wanted to do something different. I need to get warmed up again for the Battle of Home and Battles, and so he and I scheduled this battle a little while ago, so we're going to be trying out a couple of different things. Um, I, for one, definitely want to become more skilled at using a Trick Room doubles team, uh, so I'm using that team today. Um, that team, of course, is Edward Scissors Hands, the Bisharp. Uh, let's see if I can just pull them all up real, real fast while we're selecting our teams. So we have Edward Scissor Hands, the Bisharp, uh, carrying the nice taunt and the quick guard there. Uh, we have Rocky Helmet, uh, Pax, the Amoongus, and I actually have him with Clear Smog just, uh, just to stop things from setting up. Because when Gothitelle traps things in, things like to set up. Uh, and so Gothitelle is actually carrying Safeguard. Heal Pulse and Thunder Wave. This thing is really, really useful in doubles. Just gotta say that. Um, and of course, we also have a Mega Gengar, with, which is actually pretty bulky. This one has Shadow Ball, Willow Wisp Protect, and Parish Song. Then I have my secondary Parish Songer and Altaria. Although it is not Mega Altaria, I'm just using the Life Warp set. Um, Cloud Nine is nice to get around opposing weather. And uh, Safety Goggles, Raichu with Faint, Encore, Fake Out, and Thunderbolt. So. He will not be getting his attacks redirected by anything, which is nice. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and make that happen there. Go to the party Pokemon. And let's see what he's running. <clears throat> it looks like Mike is going to have... Oh, wow. Team Power. Good grief. Power and Bulk. The frailest thing there is Infernape. And Infernape can take pretty much any non-super effective stab hit for the most part. So, versus my team, I think he's definitely going to bring his Star Raptor, just because if I bring uh, a Moongus, he can just Bray Bird in the face. He would also probably bring, well, that might be a Mega Salamence. So it's probably a Scarfment, but it might be Mega. Um, my, he doesn't look like he has any Ice moves. No, Nidoqueen can definitely, Nidoqueen and Swampert actually might have Ice Beam. Skull to be annoying too. Hmm. Fake out is going to be really useful here because I can definitely fake out his Infernape if he starts out with it because I will be faster uh, just to set up my own trick room. So I think the two starting Pokemon that are going to be good are going to be... Hmm. He doesn't really have anything for Gengar, but Gengar can't do much to him either. It doesn't look like he has any ghost moves. He might have ground moves maybe on Salamence. So that means Gengar is whom I will be starting with alongside uh, Morticia, just to take out whatever he starts out with. Um, and then just so I can dodge some spread moves later on, I don't want to bring Edward Scissorhands. He has way too many things that can hit that. So that means my next best bet is going to be my secondary trick rumor who can also switch in pretty easily. And we're gonna go with uh, Raichu for the nice fake out. I can Thunderbolt everything there, except for two Pokemon, which are hit relatively easily by some of my other Pokemon. I really like the timer being on. It forces you to really go ahead and pick. I remember back in, when I went to VDC back in 08, 07, there were no timers on when you had to pick your Pokemon. So uh, you kind of could just sit there for a little while and just really mull it over. <laughs> but he could also have U-Turn on Inferno to get him out of here. Uh, this actually is a pretty good start. Uh, especially with Nidoqueen out here. Nidoqueen is one fewer thing I can't, uh, one more thing I can't hit with my Raichu Thunderbolt. So getting rid of it now, very, very beneficial. So let's definitely go ahead and, um, we're gonna, hmm. Let's just go ahead and Mega Evolve and Parish Song with these four on the field. And since I can't switch out right now, now is actually a great time to go on out. Oh, I should actually probably protect because he's gonna, well, he can't fake me out. Yeah. So, yeah, so this is a good time now to go ahead and to switch out into Leviosa. That way he'll be trapped either way because he can't switch out right now. And when I Mega Evolve, he won't be able to switch out. So. And I don't think he can one hit KO me with anything because I have such a bulky Mega Gengar. Um, so let's see what he does as I Mega Evolve 
Mega Gengar looking very cool. Definitely one of my favorite Mega Evolutions. He got banned so very quickly, though. I'm going to Mega Evolve here. He goes for the Fire Punch. Uh, that's not going to do very much, even if it's Iron Fist boosted. And so now I get to play some very fun um, Protect uh, shenanigans and that type of stuff. Uh, I really like uh, starting off with both Gengar and Gothitelle, because once they see Gengar and Gothitelle on the screen, they know it's a Trick Room team, or they know it's a Parasong Song team. But most people don't expect you to start off with two Pokemon that are both moved to Dark, and both moved to Ghost like that. Um, I wouldn't do that if he, say, had an Aegislash, uh, or his own Gengar, for example. But running it like this, it works out pretty nicely. Because now, I can just protect with Gengar, and he can't go anywhere unless he uses U-Turn. And I can also go right ahead, and uh, we can Ice Beam the Nidoqueen. Okay, cool deal. So we're going to protect with Gengar, Ice Beam that Nidoqueen. I have Life Orb uh, running right there. That's not going to do very much at all to Altaria. Altaria is just so darn bulky. This should do about half to Nidoqueen. I'm not sure which side he's bulkier on. It looks like he's about mixed. I'm very pleased with that damage. He could Ice Beam me back, which would be annoying. Okay, no, he just went for Earth Power. Good. We got down the two on the Parish count, which is nice. Um, <clears throat> and so now I basically only have to predict one more turn. I could definitely take out Nidoqueen here just by attacking it, but I don't want to lose either of these because depending on who his last two Pokemon are, I may need Altaria, or I may need Gengar to set back up another Parish Song. So, let's actually... I might actually go ahead and switch someone back into... It would not be a bad idea to go ahead and switch back into... Switch Gengar back out into my Gothitelle. That is not a terrible idea. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch Gengar to Gothitelle. Because I can definitely limit any Fire Punch shenanigans he goes for. If he goes for Earth Power, I won't do that much. And if he does attack Altaria, he'll give me a chance to heal it up with a heal pulse. Um, so yeah, we're gonna switch out to Marticia and then Altaria and just go for a... Um, I could just go for another Ice Beam to avoid the additional damage because right now Infernip is definitely the more threatening thing. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that actually. Because then I won't have to worry about something getting double targeted again. I'm going to go ahead and switch out Zavalon. And go out to Morticia. And he goes for the Thunder Punch. That's going to do a little bit more, but still not quite that much. Yeah, and I avoid that additional damage coming from Nidoqueen, which is nice. And now I get to heal Pulse uh, my Altaria up as he brings in a new Pokemon. Or well, hopefully I get to heal Pulse it up. Depending on when he brings in, I may not get that opportunity. So... Can't switch out. Now is a great time. I can basically get a free switch out in anything that I want to. Uh, he has Salamence on the other end. Actually, staying in here and Draco Meteoring Salamence would be so very satisfying. I, that's really predictable, though. He might protect, but if he's a Scarfman, he'll outspeed me and hit me with his own Dragon type attack. So, we're just going to try to Thunder Wave that Salamence. And then I'm going to switch out. And back into Zabalon. Uh, he could, of course. Hmm. Well, if I Thunder Wave it, then it'll be slower than me when I try to set back up another Trick Room. And I also have Fake Out support now, too. So, I mean, I keep saying Trick Room when I mean Parish Song. I, I was playing with some Trick Room shenanigans with Gothitelle a couple of months ago, which is why I keep I have that on the brain for some reason. Uh, so we're just going to switch right back out. <clears throat> and I do like the synergy between uh, a bulkier Gengar and... Um, Mega Gengar, rather, and Altaria. Oh, this is Mega Salamence. That is a huge problem. It's a good thing I Thunder Waved it. Uh, I might just need to go ahead and attack it, actually. <laughs> this might be a big problem. Okay, you did just go for Protect. I'm happy I didn't stay in to attack it, though. That's fine. Now I'm afraid he's gonna die. He just went straight for the Fire Punch already. And now his Infernape is gone. Fantastic. So that is one very annoying threat out of the way. Iron Fist and Infernape, not to be trifled with. And I still have all four of my Pokemon, granted my Gengar is really hurting right now. His, uh, he has a Furfro left. Ooh. Okay. So as long as I, I like this, this is kind of a check position for those of you who play, uh, chess. 
because if I can get off a Parasong now and I keep more than one Pokemon than him alive, I win. That's how that works. Uh, so I have two opportunities to do so. Fortunately, that might be a little bit difficult. What we're going to do here is gonna, we're going to try to Thunder Wave the Salamence. And I'm just going to protect with my um, Zavalon. Because if I can slow it down, that will make it a lot easier for me to get back up my Parasaur. Um, he also might, of course, go for Dragon Dance, which would be a problem. Um, he can't knock out... Uh, okay, he went for Earthquake. Okay, that was definitely a smart move because he needed to go ahead and knock out Gengar. But since I went for Protect, that is not going to be the case. Now I get to get off a wonderful Thunder Wave. And I actually also am going to be able to Heal Pulse and heal back up my Mega Gengar uh, as I get up my Paris Song again. So, woohoo, as the people in Sims say. So we're gonna heal pulse right there. Did I hit the right move? I always, I always go back and forth on that. Um, let's let's go back. We're gonna heal pulse. Oh my Gengar! I'm always paranoid that I accidentally heal pulse the opponent. And then we're going to Parasong once again. And I could have Will O Wisp the Mega Salamence, but right now it being slower is much more important. That way, worst case scenario, I can come in with Mega Altaria and hit it with a uh, Draco Meteor as well. And he also has a chance of being paralyzed and not ju he could just not do anything. So, he just goes straight for a Dragon Claw. I am definitely okay with that because that's not going to do that much damage. Oh, he crits. Okay, I would have lived that if he hadn't crit. But that's not too bad because I was able to get off the Parish Song. So now this is nice because I can bring in my Kirin Mao or Raichu and go for some wonderful fake out shenanigans. Um, he tried to go for, uh, he, he went for Toxic last turn, I could Encore him into Toxic. Anything to waste his time, basically, is what this uh, nice little setup is for. So, just in case, um, we should Psy Shock someone here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Salamence is much more threatening, I don't really have a way to knock out Furfro though. So we're going to Psy Shock, hmm. Because I don't know if I can kill it with a single uh, hit from my Altaria, even if it is Life Orb. So we're just going to go for that. And then I'm going to go for a Fake Out. He might double protect. He can't double protect, though. I have too much pressure on him here. So, yeah. I'm not worried about Furfro, so we're just going to target the Salamence down. He did protect with the Furfro, which is interesting. When you're in this position, I don't know that protecting is the best position that you can put yourself in but you can't really do anything uh, I've kind of locked him down with fake out and I slowed down his most powerful Pokemon in the field uh, and he only has two more turns left to operate with so um, but now that I fake that out that is pretty nice I know that my uh, Raichu is right now the fastest thing on the field so going for a Psy Shock on uh, We'll go on the fur for this time, just to mix it up. And actually, let's go ahead and encore that fur for out into his protect. Oh, he went for a sucker punch. Alrighty then, that's interesting. Yep, now you're stuck on sucker punch, and I just know not to attack you anymore, which is nice. Which I can definitely get away with between using encore here. Wow, that move did no damage. <laughs> Unfortunately, Raichu is probably going to go down here. Yes, he did. But that is okay. Even without the crit, that would have I would have run the chance of being KO'd there. Uh, but I can definitely stall this out now. Uh, this last turn, rather, with the Pokemon I have. Uh, he has to he has to figure out a way to KO both of my Pokemon on this last turn, and I don't think he can do that actually. Um, as long as I don't attack, Furfro can't do it do any damage with a sucker punch and um, I'm definitely going to heal pulse my Altaria and so basically he has to choose whom he wants to attack because I'm going to heal pulse Altaria and he I guess he could knock out Altaria but that's the best he can do here because he can't earthquake so he has to figure out something here I really like uh, using these moves to get around um, the, the the double targeting moves. And it would have been fun to bring Bisharp to block uh, some of the priority moves like Sucker Punch, but he didn't really have anyone who used too much priority in this battle. But fortunately, Atari is able to pick up the KO there. And now that means Furfo is definitely going to go down to 
uh, the Parish song, and actually so is my Morticia, which Morticia is probably completely okay with uh, if you haven't watched The Addams Family. She has a very interesting style that is quite awesome, so she's probably okay with going down to such a beautiful song um, being sung by a ghost smog cloud. So, uh, that was a fun battle, Mike Hobbs, sir. I, that definitely came down there. I had to make sure I really played my cards correctly in Conway. Count my ducks in a row there before they were hatched. Wait, you're not supposed to do that. Uh, we'll save it just in case. Saving, saving. Thank you, thank you. That was actually a pretty fast battle. Normally my parish song battles are a little longer. And alrighty, that's going to be the end of that. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.